Mike's Daily Podcast. That is the intro to the show. My name is Mike Matthews, and I have no voice because I was sick all week. Hey, look, there's Kevin. Hi, everybody. It's Addendum with Kevin. Our, our One of our last few in-house ones. I'm so sad. I'm going to throw these headphones out because they don't work. <laughs> yes, Kevin is moving on to a bigger and better job. Mike's Daily Podcast. One that suits... Him very well. This is F- episode 1090. Is it really? Mike's Daily Podcast. And did you hear that Mr. Trump talked to Paul Ryan? And now Paul Ryan is going to be driving a Scion and then he'll be <laughs> relying on <laughs> Donald Trump to pay his bills. Because, you know, Donald Trump walks in. It says Donald Trump charmed everyone. Yeah. Mike's Daily Podcast. He's like, he comes in, you know, with a bunch of puppies and stuff. Is that how he charms people? <laughs> hey, charmed with puppies. Mike's. That's about all I could do. Daily. With my song today. Podcast. I yeah. sing this when I go yeah. to work in Get, my head. Really? I drive on the road. I'm like setting traffic. Mike's Daily because Kevin, he, we meet on Fridays because mm-hmm. he ha- he does a show at six. He gets his shift out of the way. Yes, at the radio station so that he can then work for the beer companies. But now my shift is hitting the fan. <laughs> she, he's going to lose his shift soon because he said goodbye <laughs> to his shift after how many years? Uh, almost six years in July or uh, yeah, in August. Bravo. Oh. That's a half, more than half a decade. Yeah, I, and that's about four too long, if I'm honest. Uh, well, you've 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 gone as far as you can go here. Yeah, exactly. I'm standing on the tippy top of the ladder, and the radio ladder is only about three feet high. So, uh, yeah, it's I, and you know the brewery that I work at made me a very good series of offers. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take it. Oh wow, because they really appreciate you because you're smart. Thank you. And you know how to make beer. I do. And win over customers. Smiling. You like to say to people when you see them, you go, hey, boss. Hey, buddy. What's what's up, boss? Yeah, it's not, I don't know, because you have to come up with some generic, nice thing to say, hey, buddy, how's it going? Or just like, you too, hey. <laughs> and then you look like a, you know, like a jerk. Oh, look, I just walked in. Oh, there he is. Hello, Michael Matthews, Madam Tobago, and I am getting over a cold, too. Oh. oh, that's too bad, Madam. Does that scare you when I do that, Kevin? Just a touch. <laughs> just a touch. What scares him? You know, just things that I do. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Did you know I used to date Trump? No. Did you see Kevin's here? Oh, hi, Kevin. Mr. You make the beer. Yes, I do. But is that easy to do? Uh, it takes a little bit of witchcraft. Do you open a little package and add some water and stir it up and there's a beer? Almost. It's not much harder than that. If you can make mac and cheese, you can make beer. I want you to make me some now. Uh, it'll, okay, I can make the wort, but making it a beer will take me about a month. I can give you a wort. I can turn you into a frog. Wait, wait! what part of the country are you from, Madam Rudebaker? Look who else just walked in. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind that now. Look who else just walked in. I'll deal with you later, Rudebaker. Please, make me some beer. I, I want it. Oh, dear. Mike and Kevin, this is Valentino, the parking attendant. And this is Vice and Bentley. Do you know that? We both are getting over colds as well, dear. Yeah, colds. Do you know that? <clears throat> Emergency is very helpful. It was it. Ah! Scary emergency. Do you ever use emergency? I do. I do. Uh, I have like a pack of 200. I haven't gone through all of them yet. Oh! See? You're you're storing up for a rainy day yes. when you have sickness. Yeah. Which, well, everyone else is getting sick. It's not just you. A lot of people had a really? cold this week. Oh. Yeah. Including all the characters. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, Madame Rutabaga got ill, and <laughs> Valentino, the stereotypical Italian parking <laughs> lot uh, attendant, had a. I built this parking lot with my own hands. And my gelled up hair. <laughs> That's right. No, I wear a hat all the time. But yeah, this gelled hair under, under, underneath this hat day. And does your hat say Vaffanculo? 
What does that even mean? It's an Ita- You should know you're Italian from B- Brooklyn. I'm not a Mexican. You still not. <laughs> wow, look at you, Kevin. You could teach Valentino a couple of things about his no. heritage. Those fake Dagos. <laughs> I'm the real Dago man. Where did that slanderous term come from, anyway? I don't know. That's why we do this podcast, is to educate you about yes. weird cultural things like that. It was something to do with, I remember I heard it was something that happened at, like, Staten, not Staten Island. Uh, have you been to, St- have you taken the Staten Island Ferry? No, I'm not. Have you done that Billy Joel song? <laughs> no. And, and gone on the Staten Island Ferry? I went to New York, I was there for three days, and I was in Gowanda, New York. Literally a place that God forgot about. Wow. I mean, it, w- Buffalo. It yeah. Was, it was basically a suburb of Buffalo. Oh. Yeah, it was as much fun as it sounds like. It really wasn't. But it was a cool trip. I got to go up there. I've never even heard about that. Now, did you fly into, uh, what's it, John Federico <laughs> Federico? <laughs> I know it's called the Cubans, but that's a bit much. I thought I was going to send you something funny. Because we were talking about Kennedy, because you were drilling. Well, I was too, a little. Over Kennedy, Uh the the old uh, VJ, not the the president. Mm. Although he was a good-looking man, but we don't tend to drill over men. Yes. Unless it's Paul Ryan. Yeah. Who looks remarkably like my friend Steve. Like, exactly. So he's like my age, and he's freaking young looking. Yeah. And he works out, and then he runs the whole house. It's crazy. Yeah, he, the guy's figuring it out, man. He's got his uh, shift together. together. yeah. Pretty wife, the whole nine yards. He's He does. Yeah, he does. Oh, I was amazed, because I saw, like, in Time magazine, uh, a list of all the women uh-huh. that are married to... You know, all the Republican candidates mm-hmm. that we had that are gone now. But, I yeah. mean, of course, Trump's wife is hot. And well, then yeah. all the other wives were like, wow. Even like doofus uh, Rand Paul's <laughs> wife was like, really? God. Yes. I would imagine that Rand Paul's wife. I'm just I have this image in my head of like, I think pe- people call them like crunchy, like very like natural and organic type girls, you know. Oh, you know. yeah, organic uh, uh patchouli? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the Incense. patchouli thing going on. I'm probably wrong, though, but that's all right. Rand Paul? Yeah. But he's like a libertarian... Uh, you think he's more natural, though? Well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I do know a handful of libertarians. Because and... he's from Kentucky, and he lives yeah, up in the hills? Yeah, that, too. But now a lot of the uh, libertarians like, I was like, and that's why we need to not vaccinate our kids because it's turning them all gay. And that's like, oh, oh really? God. That's a libertarian thing? Well, I know they have the, we have the right not to vaccinate our kids. I'm like, oh, come on. Oh. And then that gets all of the other kids sick. Yeah. Because they're Just not. For, for, for the clarification of that, if you don't vaccinate your kids, I have zero respect for you. Kevin has strong opinions about that because yeah. he is not Jenny McCarthy. I'm not, no. Or, or, because we should all pay attention to what a Playboy Playmate who used to host a TV show on <laughs> MTV thinks about medical things. Which brings us back to Kennedy, yes. who hosted a video show mm-hmm. on MTV. And now she's a Fox News conservative yeah. consultant person. <laughs> and so she's but she she's got the glasses mm-hmm. and looks really smart and, and chic. Yeah, so here's 1997, Kennedy. You know, you jump from Carson <laughs> Daly. Hey, guys, we're over here talking to a third eye blind. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, those songs about suicide and drugs. And then, then we're going to toss it over to Kennedy. Kennedy. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Whatever. Um, now we're going to listen to my favorite uh, band. It's the emotional 90s skinny white guys with bleached tips <laughs> on MTV, I guess. And I told you, I heard her back on K-Rock. She used to mm-hmm. do the overnight shift, and I could not get to sleep that's, like till 3 in the morning. That's so unfair, and because she, I used to do the overnight shift at KKQ, I and then I work here. I know. Am I going to work on Fox News in like 20 years? Yes, you will. All right. Thank you, Mike. I and, appreciate your encouragement. And you'll be smarter than all the rest because you'll know how to make beer. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Mm, beer. 
so yeah, that was I, I. She just jumped. She went from overnights on K Rock to VJ. V, yeah, but she jumped over quite a few other DJs that oh, were yeah. at K Rock. I mean, where's Carson Daly right now? And he did come from K. He was on K Rock for yes. a while. Carson Daly. Well, he does later with Carson Daly, which was based on later with. It all started. Yeah. Let's take you back on a historic journey. This heart music. There's the heart bliss right there. Yeah. <laughs> bring, bring. Uh, it all began with Bob Costas, who he had a, a show called Later with Bob Costas, and he had like two chairs set up, and it was him and a guest. And I, one of the best interviews I saw was him talking to Bob Seger. You know Bob Seger? Yeah. And just like, like that old time rock and roll. Like a rock. Standing near the street. Like, as we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Bye, my Chevy. Daily podcast. Bye, Chevy. <laughs> yeah, he cashed in with that song. Yeah. Oh, like a GM vehicle. He also did. And those Hollywood nights in those Hollywood hills, <laughs> they were looking so right. Giving him chills. It, you kind of wondered how he knows that Hollywood Nights. I know he's a popular guy. No, that when you look at him, he looks like he just stumbled out of like a yeah. shack in Reno. Yeah, he aged the worst out of all the rock gods. Some of them yeah. didn't age much. Not to call Rick Springfield a rock god, but that guy didn't age at all. He looks no. pretty much the same. Okay. And the women, the women have aged that John, enjoyed him. I would say John Cougar Mellencamp did well for him. Yeah, he did pretty good. That's the only guy I know from that generation that I can recall what they look like, unfortunately. John Cougar was also, or John Mellencamp, he did the, uh, the, you know, here's the ditty about Jack and Diane, two American kids living in the heartland. Yeah. It sounded like Ned Flanders trying to sing that song. (laughs) And heidly ho, Jackie wants to be a something star, and then, so, okay, back to... That was a uh, moment of clarity. Our uh, what were we talking about? We're uh, outside now. Oh, way. but oh yeah, yeah. Outside here in the lovely uh, morning dew. Of- the mo- morning dew. Yeah. The dew is out here in the morning. Mm-hmm. It's all wet and everything. It's, it's really- Slippery. Whoa! Banana peel. Ouch! I don't have a sound effect for that. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, yeah, I do. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, that hurt. Ouch. We knocked over a bunch of pots and pans. Mm-hmm. Valentina, what did you want to say? Yeah, you know, you was talking about Italians and stuff. Teach me more, Kevin. I think you are my Jedi. <laughs> All right, Master. So what, Jedi Master. What part of Italy is your family from? They're from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> That's more of a Loper accent, don't you know? <laughs> I don't think you're really from Italy, Valentino. I accuse you of of not knowing anything, D. I accuse right. you, Valentino, of listening to too much Andrew Dice Clay. Yeah, forget about it. All right, let's let's now. Dickery, dickery, doc. <laughs> Kevin. Uh, uh, oh, I didn't do the addendum with Kevin. Then. Ah. Addendum with Kevin. All right, there we go, Kevin. Uh, I'm gonna miss you when you're when you're gone. I mean, I'm hoping we can do another addendum while you're still here, but we're gonna do it using the iPhone. Yeah, kind of like what I'm doing with Katie mm-hmm. uh, when I have her on holding court with Lady Katie. Uh, Haley, I don't know how we're gonna have Haley on. I guess we're gonna try somehow because I think we're gonna overlap on our. You shifts. guys will figure it out. Maybe yeah. we can bring in Haley for a little bit. Yeah, but it's 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 a whole change. It is. It, it's going to be a good one, and we'll still figure it out. We have technology now. That's right. Yeah, we could... At our fingertips. Addendum at four in the morning when we can't sleep because we're awake and on heroin. I don't... Do, what? Why would we be on heroin? Because we work in this industry. Well, no, no, you work in this industry. I work in this work industry. In this. Um, listen, I want to quickly promote Dead Cat Hat. They're a great band. They are going to be performing at... Oh, he didn't put it in the... I have to actually click on something. By the way, I like your uh, your, uh, junior high book report style of doing a... They are a good band. That's why I like them, and so should you. I wish you had the reading rainbow. Da-da-da! Okay. 
I'm not promoting them very well. Dead Cat Hat! Go see them! That 10, 6th Street, Showdown 10, 6th Street, San Francisco, California. Okay. They're going to be playing this Saturday from 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. They're the first band, so get there at 8 to see them. At Showdown 10, that's at 6th Street in San Francisco. Oh, God, I suck at that. Can I do it in the monster truck voice? Yeah, go ahead. Dead Cat Hat, eight dollar cover. Show up, San Francisco. All tickets, no refunds. Rain or shine. See the ticket attendant for a free drink minimum. Uh, parking, thirty five dollars. I'm gonna play a little bit of their song. Lying there inside the rock. Okay, there's a little bit. They are great. They are from Venetia. Pato Milo is this guy. He He's like the leader of the band. He is the living legacy of the leader of the band, Don Fogelberg. Dan Fogelberg. <laughs> so he, uh, it, I went up with Basil to Venetia, and, you know, because I like to let him run around the beach up there. There's actually a little beach in Venetia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> next to all the oil tankers in the bay. Yeah, next to all the oil. It's a beautiful spot. And I had a beer. There's a place up there, a little, uh, they serve a lot of local brews. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what I had. I know you want to know, and I don't know. Yeah, I know. I, I'll figure. No, I've been to Venetia before. It is the longest short ride I've ever done in my life. Really? You feel like you've been driving for, like, the drive to L.A. seems shorter than the drive to Venetia. You're like, oh, oh yeah. God, I've been on the road for three days. That must be in Nebraska. No, I'm in Venetia. It's only been an hour 45. Oh. Yeah, it does take, I would, that's why I would go up there more if it wasn't so far away. But Pato was really awesome. He bought me a beer, and then he performed with his band. They invited me over to one of their dress rehearsal things. They're, you know, oh. you know rehearsing. Were they in, like, a club, or? No, it was in his uh, office. Oh. He has a, he's actually, like, he works in psychi- psychology or something. <laughs> so uh, he was in the office performing, and Basil was in the room and howling. <laughs> it like, Ooh. It was cool. They did, like, a cover of a Level 42 song, but I won't go into that, because you're like, Level 40 what? I was like, some 41? Is that what you mean? Ah, see, I went 80s, you went 90s. Ah, Interesting. Yeah. But we're running out of time. Kevin, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. for, Dude, you've had me on so many times. I really appreciate it. And we've had a lot of fun doing this. And yes. I will genuinely miss it. Sitting here at the A crack of dawn. Thank you for believing uh, yourself. Before, as Cat Williams would say, we are awake here before Jesus and the Mexicans get up. So. Cat Stevenson said that? <laughs> yeah. Yes. He also sang Peace Train. Yes. Peace Train is coming right on the Peace Train. You're like, what are you doing with all these old songs, Mike? There was a great joke that I once heard. Uh, it had the sound of an explosion. It said, oh, that's Cat Stevens' greatest hits. What does that mean? Why is it an explosion? Remember, because he had, like, terrorist ties for oh, a while. Oh, because yeah. he's Islamic. Yeah. Well, not just because of that. Maybe he's like a bigot, but he got linked to terrorist Oh, because he got on a, a no-fly list. Yeah. Was it that? I don't know. I just know he got into a lot of trouble for donating money to something that had been funding Al-Qaeda or something like that. Oh. That's lies. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, yeah. we're going to do, we're going to keep doing this, though. Yeah. I'm going to record you, and now that I'm feeling better after my horrible cold, which I have to thank Kevin for letting me take some time off. I took, like, three days off from work, and it was because of him. Well, he said, because I was going to come back on the second day, and he's yeah. like, no, you're sick, dummy. Stay home. Well, I get this call, and it's, like, 2 p.m. And like, oh, hey, Kevin. <laughs> um, you want me to come in tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Like, uh... Why don't you go ahead and stay home? And there's Rob Black, so we better go. Take care, everybody. Oh, next show, it's going to be Shelly Shuhart, Floyd, then John Deere, the engineer. And here's today's podcast picture. And the podcast picture is of me at the bay. 
the actually I, that's when I first got sick when I, I was walking Basil the Boxer around the bay in the Hayward area he, Hayward Regional Shoreline but the uh, a cool wildflowers are all blooming right now and there was a beautiful just a, a spot there with the bay behind me there and you can see that picture now as I am getting sick in that picture you can see me coming down with illness in that picture there at mikesdailypodcast.com oh joy Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews his podcast is super easy to find download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com see you tomorrow bye